CO2 levels are getting out of control. Did you know that for the first time in human history, CO2 levels have exceeded 420 parts per million? That means we're halfway to doubling pre-industrial CO2 levels and warming the planet by at least two degrees Celsius, which could lead to catastrophic, irreversible environmental impacts. If this has you feeling anxious, I get it, me too. But through conversations I've had with experts reporting for Now This Earth, I've gotten a handful of tips on ways we could contribute to helping the planet. And even if you're skeptical about these tips, you'll still wanna pay attention because they can help you with your wallet. Here are five things you can do to help the planet. Number one, reduce food waste. A lot of the experts I've interviewed have said food waste is a big problem and we can all start creating change by making sure we eat what we buy. The US alone throws away about 30 to 40% of the food supply. And behind each package of food that ends up in a landfill, there's a lot of energy, water, packaging, and transportation that is resource intensive. So if you're wasting less food, you're not only saving money, but you're also cutting down on energy consumption and land use. Number two, pull the plug. It's simple, if you're not using a device, just unplug it. Home electronics actually waste huge amounts of energy when they're plugged in, but no one's using them. This is called the home idle load, and it uses up to approximately 50 large power plants worth of electricity in the US, and an average of $19 billion a year, which is about $165 per US household. Obviously, you'll want things like your modem plugged in at all times, but unplug all other devices you rarely use or that are fully charged. Things like guest room TVs, lamps, diffusers, and phone and computer chargers. You can also plug in common devices into smart power strips and timers, or adjust devices like computers and TVs to automatically power down to the lowest power mode when not in use. Again, you'll not only be helping the planet by reducing your carbon footprint, but you'll also be reducing your energy bill. Number three, renewable energy. It's easy to just say go solar, which I've heard a number of times, but it's not that easy. What if you don't own a home or it's simply not accessible to you? It's also not cheap. That being said, there are ways you can still get your power from renewable sources without installing solar panels on your roof. So whether you own a home or not, you can choose a utility company that generates its power from renewable sources like wind or solar. You can find some by going to greene.org and see what providers near you offer. Some providers even give you a discount when you switch to green energy. Number four, be energy efficient. Similar to renewable energy sources, switching to energy efficient light bulbs and appliances can also help you reduce your carbon footprint and save money. You might not always have the option to, but if you are purchasing your own appliances, Look for those with the Energy Star label. Energy Star means the appliance was designed to be energy efficient, meaning it will operate as you need it to, but using 10 to 50% less energy each year than its non-energy efficient equivalent. And if you're renting, you can start with smaller house items like buying Energy Star TV sets or switching to LED light bulbs. These types of bulbs use up to 80% less energy than your typical bulb. Not only that, but they also last longer, saving you money in the long run. According to the NRDC, a 10 watt LED bulb will save you $125 over your traditional 60 watt bulb in the long run. And number five, advocate. Big changes have come from local communities mobilizing around environmental issues, like high schoolers who've organized residents to defeat plants to build chemical plants and incinerators near high schools, or advocates who've led fights to reclaim and restore native land. You can also start by spreading awareness and voicing your concerns via social media, or directly call your elected officials to encourage them to enact policies that not only help the planet, but the community you live in and all of its people. So whether it's sending a tweet or curbing your electricity use, know that you have the ability to make a positive impact on the environment from your own home.